Buffalo Bryce City Schools is currently 75 degrees outside. It could reach 80 by the time we head home. If you'd like to learn about New Zealand, there is a workshop that the Rotary is sponsoring at Defiance College from May 11th to the 13th to discuss different topics about this country. If you're interested, stop by and see Mr. Nice for the details. Don't be late for this very important date. Prom tickets are on sale uh, from now until prom, I guess. $15 and you can stop by in the office at Mrs. Lupo, and uh, you can also, while you're there, sign up for post-prom um, and get the uh, guest form if you need it. Tomorrow at 8 a.m., senior class picture will be taken Everyone needs to be there, so tell your teachers in college and high school, your manager at work, for your internship, or anyone else you need to tell. The picture will be taken at 8.15 down in the gym, I believe. Is that correct? Yes. Down in the gym. Down in the gymnasium. Um, so be there, all seniors, including four county kids. A great man once said, what is lost does not always want to be found. This, though, is not the case for the lost and found here at BMS BHS. Um, you can find any of your lost items, hopefully, um, on a table not right next, right down by the staircase of the office. An athletic action last night. There was a few different events. We'll start on the diamond as the Bryan JV baseball team defeated Defiance 7-4. Logan Clemens got the win on the mound, going all seven in innings. Trevor Ward was 3-4, for while Connor Arthur was 2-4 for four at the plate to lead the Golden Bears. For the softball team, the varsity team cruised to a 21-0 win over Continental. Kale Altaffer got the win, and April Rickenberg pitched in relief. Megan, Maggie Voigt led the charge with an inside-the-park grand slam Oh my. Uh, along with two other singles, she ended the game with a team-high six RBI. Trista Savage had three singles. Kenzie Andrews and Kelly Miller each had a pair of singles. And Emily Gorzalanzik also joined the hip parade with a triple and a single. And tennis action last night. Lost in a heartbreak right yeah, here. It was, it was tough. To state-ranked great team, Ottawa Hills. Uh, the scores of uh, four to one each match was decided by just a few points. My co-anchor, fellow Cold Arthur, yeah. and Logan King continue to be undefeated as a duo in first doubles. The boys are back in action on Thursday as they host the Blue Streaks from Archibald. On the oval and in the field, the Bryan boys finished second, and the girls finished first as they hosted Archibald and Antwerp. For the boys, Parker Harris won the pole vault. Connor Lamb won the 110 hurdles. Austin Johnson led the way in the 400. Keegan Brown won discus. And the 4x4 relay team um, and 4x8 relay team were victorious for the boys as well. In girls' action and track, the winners were Brittany Willis in the 800 and 1600, Taylor Peters in the 300 hurdles and pole vault, Ali Miner in the 200, Audrey Zimmerman in the 3200, and Olivia, Olivia Whitty in the discus. Guess. Great job, ladies. See you on the flip side, Bryan City Schools. Will Jackson, have a great day.